वेलकम बैक टू लिटरेचर गाइड टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट जैज पोएट्री द इमरजेंस ऑफ जैज पोएट्री कैन बी ट्रेस्ड इन द फर्स्ट क्वार्टर ऑफ द ट्वेंटी एथ सेंचुरी द लीडिंग फिगर्स ऑफ जैज पोएट्री वर लैंगस्टन ह्यूज अमीरी बराका केनेथ रेक्सरॉथ रॉय फिशर केनेथ पैचेन एंड क्रिस्टोफर लो The jazz poetry is primarily sung to the accompaniment of brass and woodwind instruments. Langston Hughes was probably the first to employ jazz techniques to his poetry. It was the poetry of self-expression and self-realization. The beat poets were also associated with the jazz poetry. They contributed to the jazz poetry i have already produced videos on beat movement and the black mountain poets these videos will be useful for you while studying jazz poetry if you want to get more information you can visit a website the link of the website is there on the screen if you really like the content produced by this channel do like and subscribe literature guy i don't want to waste your time let's dive into a video and enjoy the video jazz poetry in english literature the emergence of jazz poetry can be traced in the first quarter of the 20th century in the usa Jazz poetry is primarily sung to the accompaniment of jazz, a type of music typically played on brass and woodwind instruments with a regular rhythm. This genre of jazz poetry reflects self-expression and self-realization. It also suggests a kind of revolt against the established literary and cultural norms. The jazz poetry changed the countenance of poetry by telling and performing. Some of the chief members of the jazz poetry are Vachel Lindsay, Langston Hughes, Kenneth Patchen, Kenneth Rexroth, Ted Jones, Amiri Baraka, Christopher Logue, Roy Fisher, Michael Horowitz, Pete Brown, Spike Hawkins, John Cooper Clark, James Barry, and Camar Braithwaite. The earliest example of jazz poetry is Vachel Lindsay's ballads called General William Booth published in 1913. He also produced a collection the Congo in 1914 and the Daniel Jazz in 1920. Langston Hughes applied jazz techniques to his poetry. He was one of the leading figures in the Harlem Renaissance. He produced some fantastic pieces of jazz in Weary Blues in 1928 and a collection selected poems appeared in 1959. Langston Hughes was probably the first to apply the techniques of jazz poetry to his poems. It was Kenneth Patchen who later on developed and improvised jazz poetry in the 1950s. He was highly influenced by the craftsmanship and methods of Walt Whitman and William Carlos Williams. It is to be noted that these writers had also influenced the beat poets. The beat generation also contributed to jazz poetry. Another poet, Kenneth Rexroth, contributed the jazz poetry and he edited several anthologies of poetry. Kenneth Rexroth remarked, "Poetry or song for the Indians is itself a numinous thing." He produced a collection of poems namely, In What Hour in 1940 and also translated Japanese works. Some other volumes of his poetry appeared as collected shorter poems in 1966, collected longer poems in 1968, and new poems in 1974. Everett Luaro I Jones, Amiri Baraka The African American poet and activist asserted that poetry is music. He produced a famous but controversial poem Somebody Blew Up America in 2001. The poem raised many questions about the policies of the US government. Some other volumes of his poetry are prefaced to a 20 volume suicide note published in 1961, The Dead Lecturer in 1964, Black Art in 1964. Amiri Barak edited to literary journals called Yugan and Culture. Through his poetry, he expressed his hostility to the white dominance in the 1950s. 
He addressed to the jazz musicians and speaks for black American potentiality in his work in the tradition. The waves of jazz poetry touched the shores of the British Isles in the 1950s. Christopher Logue, one of the members of the jazz group, produced his poems as verse posters. He composed a few collections such as Wanden Quartet which appeared in 1953, New Numbers was published in 1969, and Ode to the Dudo, poems from 1953 to 1978 appeared in 1981. He served as a co-editor of the short-lived magazine Merlin. Another member of the jazz poetry is Roy Fisher who tagged himself as a 1905 Russian modernist and a romantic. He was a jazz pianist and also composed volumes of poetry such as City in 1961, Ten Interiors with Various Figures in 1966 and The Ship's Orchestra in 1967. Here's the thing about Joe Sullivan, poems 1971-1977 present a comparison between the Black Mountain School and jazz poetry. It is tinged with free verse sequences and lyrics. Michael Horowitz was an exponent of the counterculture and beat movement. He was a performance artist and a poet. He also organized poetry readings and events. The jazz poetry expanded its wings with the arrival of punk, post-punk, and new wave subcultures. It is important to note that many writers of the beat movement were also attached to jazz poetry. Allen Ginsberg, Gary Snyder, Jack Kerouac and Lawrence Ferling Getty actively contributed to jazz poetry. Allen Ginsberg's two famous poems, Howl and Kaddish are artistically composed according to the state and process of breathing. He voiced his empathy for the outcast and expressed his protest against the Vietnam War. He became the magnate of the counterculture of the 1960s. Similarly, Jack Kerouac's essays Essentials of Spontaneous Prose published in 1953 and Beliefs and Techniques for Modern Prose appeared in 1959. The works present the theory of Kerouac which abhors revisions and it was of similar character to the improvisation of jazz. In his poem Mexican City Blues Jack Kerouac adhered to his theory. The poem was written under the influence of marijuana. I hope you liked the video. I have already produced many videos on English poetry, prose and criticism. If you want to get more information, you can visit a website. The link of the website is there on the screen. If you really like the content produced by this channel, do like and subscribe Literature Guide. If you have any suggestions, you can put your comment in the comment box below. I will meet you soon with a new and fresh topic of English literature. Please subscribe Literature Guide.